friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I am really excited about these three recipes. I can't wait to eat them all week. So if you're excited to give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds in just over a year and a half and one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making blackberry muffins with oatmeal. These are going to be so good. I plan on pairing these with some eggs, some Canadian bacon. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need milk of your choice. You know I always use Fairlife for the extra protein. Light butter, rolled oats, honey, flour of your choice. I'm also using my Kodiak protein flour. As a reminder, this flour has been discontinued, which is very, very sad. You can make your own protein flour. So I'll list down in the description box how to do that. I've shared that a few times here on my channel, or you can just use regular all-purpose flour, almond flour, really whatever flour you have on hand. Baking soda, baking powder, a fresh lemon, vanilla extract, non-fat Greek yogurt of your choice, eggs and fresh or frozen blackberries. So to put together our muffins, the first thing we're going to do is add half of a cup of milk and three quarters of a cup of the Greek yogurt and then whisk that together. Then we're gonna add one cup of rolled oats and again whisk together until the oats are covered in the milk and yogurt mix. And then we're actually going to set this aside for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let those oats really absorb the liquid. Once the oats have soaked up all of the liquid, we're going to add three tablespoons of melted light butter, quarter cup of honey, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and the zest of one lemon. It actually calls for about a tablespoon. I'm going to go ahead and zest the whole lemon. I want all the lemon vibes with the blackberry. Blackberry and lemon together is such a fantastic combination. And then mix all of that together before we add in our dry ingredients. Then we're adding in one cup of flour, half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a full teaspoon of baking powder. And then stir until mixed. Then I have my blackberries. I did go ahead and chop them in half. This is both of those six ounce packages. And then fold those in, do not over mix. Go ahead and warm up your oven to 375 degrees. Now we're going to scoop our mix into 12 muffin cups. I did spray my muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I will tell you that these smell really good. I can smell the lemon and then I get the little sweetness of the blackberries. And I love that we were able to incorporate extra protein with the flour. Also using the Fairlife milk is really going to help bump up the protein of these muffins. Our muffins are going into a 375 degree oven until they are baked through probably about 10 to 15 minutes. So my muffins are out of the oven. It is a little bakery in here. It smells absolutely amazing. Look at how good these look. We have lemon, we have blackberry packed with protein. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen. And again, I'm planning on pairing these with eggs, Canadian bacon, maybe some extra fruit, but this is breakfast for the week. For lunch this week, I am making a healthy burger bowl and I cannot wait. 
Fun fact about me, my favorite food ever is a good cheeseburger or a good burger in general. So I'm going to make a little healthier spin on that. So let me show you what's in the recipe. So you're going to need a pound of 93 or 96% extra lean ground beef. To season the meat for the burger bowl, you'll need salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And, and then for the bowl itself, I'm going to use crispy lettuce. This is basically like a green leaf lettuce, little baby tomatoes, mushrooms, light shredded cheese, fat-free Thousand Island. I'm trying to go with the Big Mac vibe. And then I'm going to dice up some purple onion as well. I'm actually going to have this for lunch today. So you'll be able to see what the completed bowl looks like. So to do the meat for the burger, super easy. I went ahead and added my pound of 96% ground beef to a skillet. We're just going to season it up and fry it up and this is going to be the burger portion of our bowl. So I am going to add some salt and pepper. I'll link this acacia wood salt and pepper container down below for you. I just bought this off of Amazon and I love it. It was less than $10. I'm going to add the rest of my seasoning, a little bit of smoked paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder, and then go ahead and brown your burger. So my ground beef is all cooked up, ready to go. I'm just going to store it in this container. I am going to go ahead and put together a burger bowl because again, that's what I'm having for lunch today. I'll be back to show you the completed burger bowl and we'll go over points calories and macros. And here is the burger bowl. Doesn't this look amazing? I'm super excited for this. So what I did is the ground beef, I have some purple onion, mushrooms, tomatoes, lettuce, about a tablespoon of light shredded cheese, some avocado of course, and then I added the Fat 3000 Island. Because you can create this bur burger bowl however you want, the only thing I'm going to put points and macros on the screen for is the ground beef itself because all the rest of the information is going to vary depending on what you build in your bowl and what you top it with as far as dressing goes. But this looks amazing. It's got protein, veggies, healthy fat, super excited. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making strawberry cheesecake bars. I probably won't get any of these because Troy is really excited for these. Fun fact about Troy, his favorite dessert is cheesecake, so he is stoked for these. So let me show you what you'll need. First, I went ahead and grabbed a graham cap cracker pie crust. So my bars will be more like pie. So I guess we could call this strawberry cheesecake pie, but the original recipe gives you the measurements to make your own crust if you wanna make these more into bars, but I thought this is going to be a little bit easier, a little bit quicker for me. You'll need two packages, two eight ounce packages of one third less fat cream cheese, an egg. I'm going to use that lemon I zested in the muffins. I'm going to use the juice out of that. And you need some lemon juice, non-fat Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, sweetener of your choice. This is the Lakanto granulated. This is what I always use for sweetener alternative. Love Lakanto. I will link it down below with 15% off site wide. And of course, some fresh strawberries. So the first thing we need to do is get our strawberries cooked down. This is going to make a strawberry sauce, so to speak. So I did chop up my entire package of strawberries just into little teeny chunks. I'm going to add three tablespoons of Lakanto. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use that lemon. That way it doesn't go bad. You could use pre-done lemon juice, whatever your preference is. And I'm just going to squeeze that in. I'm going to put this over a medium high heat, bring it to a boil for about five to 10 minutes. Try to smush your strawberries a little bit with maybe a wooden spoon during the cooking process. Alrighty, our strawberries are good. They've definitely thickened up a little bit. So go ahead and just set those aside. I added my two packages of one third less fat cream cheese to a bowl. I'm going to add one egg, one quarter of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, and I was supposed to do one tablespoon of Lakanto in the strawberries and I did three. It's fine, they taste really good actually. But we need three tablespoons in this and it should have been, again, one tablespoon in the strawberries. But a little extra sweetness in the strawberries never hurt anybody. So I have my oven preheating to 350. I'm going to add my cheesecake mixture to my graham cracker crust. You're going to spread that out nice and even. 
Then we're going to add about half of the strawberry mix on top and swirl that in. Save the other half of your strawberry mixture for the top after it's baked. Our cheesecake is going into our oven for about 30 minutes. All right, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake bars are out of the oven. This is beautiful. This gives me all the bakery vibes. So we are going to allow it to sit on our counter for about 15 minutes before transferring it to the fridge. You do wanna put it in the fridge for about an hour before serving, and then you can top it with the rest of the strawberry compote. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are excited to make these three recipes for you and your family. Don't forget all of today's recipes are on my website. It is linked at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, everything I shared with you today, and my Facebook group, we'd love to have you. So come on over and join us there. Happy Monday, friends. Here is to an amazing on-track successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.